I've just made uh, Polybar even better. So a few changes during my uh, tutorials on YouTube that I've created, I've changed some things. And I'm back on my Arch Merge ISO Builder down here. And um, I've made a copy paste of Arch Merge Polybar and then got again a new code from GitHub, so Git pull and everything is now here. And this is a quick reminder of you guys that you can use Melt to see what did I change. So you have now version 6.2.3, I think. So later on, it will be 6.2.4. So a quick comparison between these two files. What did I do? It's a great tool. You need to know and to learn Melt, which is this one here, Melt. In the preferences, you can set it here. And what did I change during all these tutorials I created? I made some colors here. So connected, this one uh, will get this green color, I think. Well, I think it was green, I don't know. Anyway, it was format underlined. This is the old version to the right and the new version is format connected. So it's an improvement here, an improvement here. And then we scroll down and we see as well, this was red. Remember in one of the tutorials, this was just white. So now it's red, so it's a good idea for a mute button. And we have made this one as well. It was this GitHub fluke that was happening. So at some point in time, it was corrected, then it was gone again. So now it's in again. So this is nice looking. So this is a quick way for future reference if I make new polybars and new, con new elements, new modules, changes, then this is the way to do it. Do it with Melt, see what I changed and acknowledge it. Uh, if you want, if you don't want it, you, you press this button here and it goes back there. So that's okay. So it's uh, uh, your decision to take over what we provide. All right, cheers.